I'm going to be making a dump and go chicken alfredo. I saw this on the Baking Diva. I will put the horse's channel link in the description. You're going to have to spray lightly your baking pan. Now, I'm not going to be making as much as Dolores did. I'm going to I'm cutting this recipe in half. And she used the whole box of rotini pasta. I'm only going to use half of it. And then I'm going to put one and a half cups of chicken broth or you can use chicken stock. I'm going to put half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then salt and pepper to taste. Probably half a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. You can add more if you like it. Then I bought a one pound thing of cut up rotisserie chicken. I'm just going to dump it all in the bowl. You have to cut up some pieces just be smaller than, you know, go ahead. That's about two cups of chicken. You can buy a rotisserie chicken and just take it off the bone if you want or you can cook your own. I'm going to stir that in as best I can. I put it in a bigger bowl because that, that bowl was too small. To toss this in. Okay. And she put hers in the baking pan and just tossed it in there, but it would be easier for me to put it in a bowl. Spread that out in the bowl. Now you're going to add any kind of Alfredo sauce in a jar that you want. I like the Newman Zone. And you're going to pour that all over. Just like that. Add some water in that. You add a little bit of water in that. Shake it up. That way you can get all the Alfredo sauce out of there. See? Get it all out of there. Spread that across a little bit. Now you're going to cover this with foil and bake it at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. Took this out of the oven.
I'm gonna check this noodles. Stir it up some. Ah, oh, they're almost done. Yeah, it's almost done. It's like El Dente. It'll be done by the time this finishes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle some shredded mozzarella cheese all over the top. probably about a cup and a half left in there. You can add as much as you want on there. Now I'm going to put it back in the oven uncovered for 15 more minutes. I just pulled it out of the oven. You see the cheese is done. A little brown on top. The noodles are done. I'm going to let this set for a few minutes. And then I'll come back and try it for you. I right, let it set. Now I'm going to plate it up. Soaked up all the liquid. That's why you want to let it set for a good 10-15 minutes before you serve it and let it soak up all the the liquid and the alfredo sauce. I made a garlic stick and some broccoli with it. Let me try it for you. Some of that cheese. See what it looks like. That's really good. And the noodles are done. Mm, that is really good. And it's easy to make. And if you like chicken Alfredo, this is the easy way to go. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe. And click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.